It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Despite all the negativity that's going on in the world, I have some really awesome news in regards to the king of the monsters himself, Godzilla. Yeah, I could tell that he's actually really, really happy about this sort of news that I'm talking about right now. A new service online called HBO Go was more recently released onto the public. And of course, if you type in Godzilla for that service, you'll find the first 15 movies for Godzilla. Not only would you find the first 15 movies, but also if you type in Rodan, you'll find Rodan. And if you also type in the word Gigantuous, you'll find the word Gigantuous. And of course, if you type in the X from Outer Space, you'll also find the X from Outer Space. This type of news is very exciting for people like me because to my knowledge, it is like the first time that any series of Godzilla movies are actually featured onto like a streaming platform because to my knowledge, like Netflix United States does not have any of the Godzilla movies and matter of fact, the only way to see these type of movies nowadays, of course, are the Blu-ray and of course the DVD releases. However, this is the first time any sort of streaming service have, of course, Godzilla movies, and of course some other Toho movies that were made in the past. And so, if you're a fan, of course, of like the giant monsters like Godzilla, of course, HBO Max is the way to go for this whole entire series if you guys are really, really like it, this kind of genre. What I find so fascinating about this news is the fact that this came out the same time as other Tokusatsu news. We know for a fact that Shao Factory has the streaming rights to Kamen Rider. We know for a fact that Arrow Video also have a gamer set coming up. We also know for a fact that Toei Studios have their own Tokusatsu channel for those who want to see the old school shows. And of course, we know for a fact that there's other releases like the Mill Creep release for like the uh, Battle in Outer Space and the H-Man double feature. So it seems as though there's like a really, really big push right now in terms of Tokusatsu for the American audience. If you told me years ago that all 15 Godzilla movies plus Tokusatsu TV shows would actually be available for free for people like me, I would never, ever, ever believe you. And the main reason why I would say that is because back in the early 2000s, like these movies were like super, super hard to find, especially, especially the Japanese cuts. Like, of course, it was kind of easy back then to find the American cuts, but as far as the Japanese cut, what you had to do in the past was actually, of course, import the DVD directly from Japan or buy a bootleg to actually see these films uncut. So, these newer fans of Godzilla have no idea, just absolutely no idea, how lucky they have in our days. Because starting in the mid 2000s, they actually finally released like the Japanese cuts for the first time with the classic media sets. And of course, we got Criterion releasing it nowadays. And so, the availability of these movies is quite awesome. And of course, newer generations of fans can actually enjoy it both physically and also on streaming services. Besides these Japanese monster movies from HBO Max, you also get like a lot of contact from like, you know, Warner Brothers Pictures, DC Entertainment, you get the Criterion Collection, you get Crunchyroll. So to me at least, the option of titles that's available on that service is way better than Netflix at the moment. As far as the audio options for these movies, it kind of depends on what you select. For example, there's, of course, the American and the Japanese version of Godzilla. And, of course, there are some movies that have Japanese. All of them have Japanese, but there are some that actually have, like, English audio. But they're not like the American theatrical audio that was presented in the past by ARP. They're actually done by, like, the international dub team. So, basically, some dubs are not presented for some of these movies, while other dubs are also presented for these movies. 
as far as like you know Rodan that movie is presented in Japanese as far as of course the word Gigantuous it has Japanese audio and a different English dub now the dub that was done in the past of course it had like the voice actors doing like different voice acting whereas this one is kind of different in a sense so it seems as though like you probably not get as many options like on an official DVD release but it's still pretty nice to check out these movies when you get the chance to. So in celebration of this announcement I of course am going to dance. Hey Godzilla are you ready to dance with me? Alright, you heard the big G-Man right here, so uh, let's put on the mask and I'm just gonna start dancing. Oh my god, oh my god, I cannot see anything at all. Oh my god, like, I can't breathe, like, how can I talk to this whole entire, like, oh my god, I cannot breathe, but uh, let's dance for you guys, because you guys wanna see me dance, so, let's go. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.